She's a black belt in karate Working for the city She has to discipline her body Cause she knows that That's a simply incredible lyric. She's taken lots of vitamins. That this is a great song, but that truly sounds like a line where they were like, "What rhymes with that?" Okay, vitamins. Sure, put it down. Print it. Uh, coming at you with some cool arcade games today. We're gonna relax with some very aesthetic games. Uh, and a couple random ones just thrown in there. There is a possibility that this is the last single-player arcade games stream, because I don't really have any more lined up at the moment. I've had, like, a big catalog of them for so long, and we're finally... This is the bottom of the barrel, and it's not to say that there's not some cool games, though. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, boys. Ladies and gentlemen, the Flaming Lips. Uh, all but one of the games that we're playing today is going to be at the same volume, which is very convenient for me as a streamer. Could I start posting credit for the images you use in stream intros at the beginning of the VOD? Uh, that would be a lot of work, and I know that sounds scummy, but some of these things I truly, like, that image couldn't tell you. The, like, I would just say, take a screen cap, crop it, Google reverse image search, and you can probably do about as well as I can uh, searching for it, you know. I know that's a little bit of a pain in the ass, but truly, uh, it's already a, I, I This is going to sound so such like such a bitch move, but it's already so much, oh, it's so much work to make the VODs. Uh, so, we have, maybe if it's fan art, I could like post the link to the, like the Buru page for it. That would be relatively easy, but... You know, if it's Buru art, you can just go to the Buru and look at the past, like, week of posts. So I don't know how necessary that would be. I don't know. I'll take it into consideration, but uh, it probably won't happen, frankly. Okay. <clears throat> Here's our games for today, and there's one missing. There's a surprise tool that will help us later. Uh, today we're going to be looking through some of the works of Yu Suzuki who some of you may know as the guy who made Virtua Fighter and Shenmue, uh, including Shenmue 3, which I have not played, but I heard was terrible. And I've heard the first couple Shenmue's are, like, really weird and poorly aged, but they're, like, funny and cool. I've never played them. I've never played Virtua Fighter. So, uh, yeah, he made Afterburner, Outrun, and Space Harrier. And he also made Hang On... And a few others. Uh, we're not going to play those today. Uh, so, yeah. That's about it for the informational segment. I'm just going to make a disgusting noise with my nose off, off audio. Off camera? Off mic. Off mic. Okay. Uh, so, I actually have not decided what we're going to start with. Should we just do... Let's start with Outrun. Fuck it. This is probably the most famous one. And yes, before you ask, I guess the genre of music is actually named after this game. 
Which is weird, because I don't think this game has what we would consider outrun music in it. But that is a thing. Uh... Just making sure it's all good in the hood in terms of volume. Okay. Oh yeah, this has a little bit of like extra HUD elements with the gear shift there. This was kind of hard to get working in MAME. This was like the one I would- I remember booting this up and like it wouldn't let me start. Oh, and look at this. This is so cute. I used the steering wheel to choose a song. Splash Wave? What, you mean like Sea Punk? I'm doing Splash Wave. Fuck it. Get ready. Yeah, boy. Alright, so... I think I need to not only... Oh god, there we go. Well, I got a horrible head start. A lack of a head start. There's something about... There's, there's some, like, jank to this. Where I have to, like, activate my car at the very beginning, and it has nothing to do with the gear shift. Which I, I guess I just want to stay in high gear. I actually... I have no idea what high gear even really means. I just assume high equals fast. <laughs> uh... This is awesome, by the way. This So this was one of those things that was a... like a ride, basically. Where not only are you playing this game, but there's like a steering wheel, there's like a fake steering wheel, and the machine would like move, too. Which is pretty epic, I'm sure we've all seen those at like bowling alleys and shit. I'm kinda just gunning it. Uh... It, I, I'm probably, like, kind of cheesing the game by playing it with a controller and not with a wheel, you know? I don't know, if, can you just, like, fucking wipe the hell out in this game? Like, blood splatter? Oh, shit. Oh, that is weird to look at. Uh, okay. Did I... Is this good? Should I have not... Oh, shit. <laughs> look at his face! Is he supposed to be wearing sunglasses? So there's, like, pedals on this thing. Course map. Oh, shit. Oh. I assume I, like, didn't make it to the checkpoint or something? Well, this is a cool screen. Look at this. This is a vibe. Very Hotline Miami. Uh, I cannot... Oh, there we go. Oh, wait, no, I didn't want to do A. No, 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 no. No. Uh, well, we gotta do the classic. I accidentally hit A, so we gotta do ass. This is the way it is. How do I select a fucking letter? Oh, the pedals. Holy shit, I hit the gas to select a letter. <laughs> okay, well, fucking... There's like some jank at the beginning where I need to activate my car. It's really weird, and then I never need to do it again. It's like I need to press A. Okay, let's try that again, shall we? Uh, splash Wave was cool. Let's do Passing Breeze. That's the standard default. Uh, is everything... everything looking alright? Shadow the Hedgehog story map. <laughs> That's not really how Shadow the Hedgehog works, right? Well, I don't even really know how this one works. Uh, okay. Get ready. So... I want to activate my car. There we go. For some reason it just... I, I, I could do it before he even swung the fucking flag. Is this some, like, manual gear shit that, that I don't know about? All right, let's fucking go. I feel like this is such an iconic image, is like the, the, the palm trees lining the road, you know? The clear California sky. I feel like I've seen that in just so much stuff. Outrun... Outrun music does kind of fuck with cars, right? Uh-oh. Banking on the sand a little bit there. This, this is supposed to be like, you know, like a sexy, cool, you know, oh yeah, we're going on the highway, baby. But it's like, if I was the passenger in this car, I'd be mortified. I'd be like, oh my god, oh, slow down, slow down, please! There's other cars right there, what are you doing? You know? Like, I knew some people, fuck, in high school who drove like sociopaths. And they thought they were hot shit for it. And, and it was like driving in the car, being a passenger in their car was mortifying. Okay, well, can I go this way this time? Like, what's what's the difference between these paths? The 3D effect is so, like... It's all, you know, of course, fake. Okay, I ran out of time. Fuck, I... Let's try this again! Fuck! I suppose, like, I can't, like, put in a coin here and keep going? Fuck. 
Oh, that's so Hotline Miami. Ass. I didn't even get as good as ass. What the fuck, man? Okay, magical sound shower. Am I gonna get, like, nowhere in this game? I feel like I'm doing okay. I guess I did kind of wipe out at a certain point there. I, I, like, lost a bunch of speed. It's like I need to get there in a certain period of time. Uh, the music's good. I'm digging it. I've... I've not yet... Maybe, like, when I'm starting out, I should be in low gear, and then when I get fast, I should go into high gear. Is that how it works, chat? I proudly know fucking nothing about manual gear. I think people... Th there's... Did you guys know there's, like, this whole thing where people... People are like, oh, yeah, manual's the way to do it. And I remember when I was growing up, I was like, oh... People must think that because there's actually, like, there's something better about it, you know? Like, it's more, I don't know, like, you get more control over your vehicle, or you... It's more fuel efficient or something. Nope! It's literally just old. That's it. It is old. That's why people <laughs> swear by it. It's like, I I bro. Okay. Let's go this way. S I hate you. Tomator, I hate you. I think Tomator may have just cost me my life. Oh, checkpoint, checkpoint. Oh shit, suck my dick, Tomator. It's like, I feel like my jerky movement, it's not really the sort of thing that would be possible on a, on a steering wheel peripheral, but whatever. Ooh. God, like I'd be so scared. Especially with like, especially with the herky-jerky turns where I'm just tapping the joystick. Ugh. Oh, like my life is flashing before my eyes and, I, and this is just a video game. Imagine if this was real life. Oh, what is that? An old, oh, my rival. Oh, oh, what the fuck? Wow, wipeout, dude. Oh, and then we just respawn. Gamers don't die. We respawn. Holy shit, the sprites like freak out too. You know, the secret for how they make- I think I'm fucked, by the way. The secret for how they make these games without having actual 3D is they just, uh... ...have sprite scaling. Okay, I see, so- alright, I'm dead. At the end of every level, there's a... ...choice. And that's how you pick a different route. Okay. Uh, god, I kinda wanna get further than that, but it's- uh, it's- it's tricky? I should- I should maybe just, like, take it a little more careful around other vehicles? <laughs> So, it automatically input A. I didn't- I literally did not press any buttons, but it put A in. Can I delete that? Fuck. Edge. I don't know. As, perhaps? I don't know if I'm gonna get very far in this. Okay, shit, I chose that song. Oops. Okay, I hit A. So, start out in low gear. Get fast, then okay. I did not actually check chat to see if that's the proper strat, but I assume that's how it works. That's kind of... I remember hearing bits and bobs about how it works. But that, that blew my mind. There's nothing actually better about it. People just like it because it's old. That was like... That was like one of the first moments of me getting disillusioned to the idea of, like, tradition. I was like, oh, that's dumb. <laughs> That, that, that's kind of stupid. We we over here in America have not have not had good experiences with the concept of tradition, <laughs> at the very least. I don't know about y'all other parts of the world. Okay, this part it kind of goes nuts. Okay, but it's like I like that the harshest angle that you can turn at exactly fits most hard turns. Like, that's good. Okay, Tomator, I will fucking- I will send you to the scrapyard, you scum fuck. You prol piece of shit, I will ruin you. Oh god, they just passed right through each other. What the fuck? It's like, ah, slow down! Oh my god, you're gonna kill someone! <laughs> Check this out, babe. By the way, 
Did you know that the Koopa Kids and the Koopalings are totally different things? <laughs> Sounds weird, right? Anyway, in Mario Party, the Koopa Kid- Oh my god, you almost hit that fucking thing! Let me out now! Uh, please. Thank you. Oh, the road's getting tiny here. Is that supposed to be a tunnel and not like a series of arches? Oh! I think that's supposed to be a tunnel and that's adorable. Because it is, of course, just a series of sprites getting bigger as we get nearer to them. Uh, I think I could still make it? I don't know. Where's my timer? Like, oh, fuck. <laughs> God damn it. <sighs> fuck. That was the best one so far. It automatically inputs A. I swear I'm not pressing anything. It just says A at the beginning. Guess we're doing as. Fuck. Okay, uh, hmm. I'm probably not gonna beat this game. You can tell. But let's play a little bit more, it's fun. It's a fun game. It's a bit fucking intense, though. Okay, what song have we not done? Magical Sound Shower. Are you guys ready to be bathed in the cool waves of a magical sound shower? I know I am. Okay, I think I've got it down to a science now. Start in low gear. Get up to speed. Shift into high gear. I should have looked. I don't see a timer. I see my score. I see the amount of time I've taken. Is it, is it maybe always the same amount of time between checkpoints that kills me? But, oh, wait, no. Time 55. I see it up there, actually. Fuck. This is why I should have taken a glimp... A, 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 just a little glance at it before I started actually racing. This is a banger. <gasps> Cock! Whoa! Nothing wrong with that, babe. Anyway, the Koopalings are from Mario 3. And don't include Bowser Jr. He was introduced in Mario Sunshine as part of a totally different arc. Some debate whether Shigeru Miyamoto is canonically Bowser Jr.'s mother. Oh! Nope, nothing wrong with that. Here, let me just adjust my hair. We'll be fine, babe. The 3D kind of makes me want to puke. Okay, this run is done. There's no way I'm getting it. Like, can I... I should have started in low gear there, fuck. Is there any way to, like, can I fucking just... Eh, shortcut! Shortcut time! <laughs> okay. Good. Um, alright. Let's try that again. Edge. And it shows what route you took, Get too. Ready. Get ready! Start in low gear. <coughs> Excuse me. So get up to like 200. Nope, that's about as high as you can get in low gear. Okay. Seems like my guess, my, my loose understanding of this is roughly correct. The music kind of just like hiccuped there. Things on the exact horizon sort of get a little muddled, too. Sometimes I feel like the background, like, bleeds through the road, if that makes any sense. I don't even really know what's happening there. When we do, like, elevation gain or loss. Uh, but Yu Suzuki is sort of, uh, his, he's kind of a gimmick developer. He doesn't play video games, he only makes them. And so... That's why a lot of his games focus on, like, realism, <laughs> I think. Like, a, a lot of them are a bit on the dry side, I guess. Uh, what path did we not take? Let me take the road less... path less traveled. God, they really don't give you a lot of time. Nine. Eight. Like... Is, am I doing something wrong? There might be some control that I'm, like, missing. Look at that! You just barely have enough time to get it. Also, I love seeing the other cars just pass directly through each other. Wish they would do that for me. Oh. Claustrophobic tunnel. Is this the path that I went last time? Fuck. I like the varied environments, though. I can imagine, uh... 
I don't know, if I had a fuck ton of quarters, I would, I would go ham on this. I was thinking it might be fun for me to go to an actual arcade with a GoPro on my head and, and have like a POV arcade games stream in an actual arcade. I think that would be fucking lit. I don't know if it'll ever happen. I, I, it, something got me thinking about it. I heard something about uh, Galloping Ghost, which is like the biggest arcade in the US. Oh god. And I was like, oh, it'd be fun to go there and like, oh god. <laughs> she yelled at me. Okay, start in low gear. Fuck. We're probably done. Yeah, five seconds. No thanks. Oh, was there like a glitched out asset there above? God damn, this is hard. I would, I would want to, someone said, could you get in trouble for that? I would want to like ask with the management of the arcade if it would be okay. Normally filming can get you in trouble. For sure. Uh, I, why does it automatically select A? I, I hate it. Ab. Aba. My favorite band, Aba. So, I kind of want to play a little bit more of this. It's also like whenever I talk, I feel like I get substantially worse. Look at the horizon though, and look at like the way the other cars, whenever we go up or down, there's some, there's some real jank with the horizon. Look at this guy, cool as a cucumber. And they don't have the stuttery turns because they're playing with an actual wheel in the little, like, demo mode, you know? Outrun. Ooh, look at that. That is the definition! Holy fucking shit! Vaporwave Incarnate. I am so glad that I waited long enough to see that. <laughs> I almost- I was, like, just about to press start and just start the game. Also, there's a little- look above the steering wheel. There's, like, a glitched asset there? Is that an emulator thing? It's like on the same layer as the cloud sprites. Is that something to do with it? It looks like a duplicate of the steering wheel sprite. Weird. Uh, okay, what do we want to do? Let's do splash wave again, fuck it. I like that it's even different radio stations. 69, nice. Get ready. Oh shit. I think I accidentally chose the wrong thing. Oh, and did I fuck up? No. Okay, once you get up to like 150, shift into high gear. I'll do my best, guys. But I can't guarantee I'll get much further and we gotta move on. It's kind of a late stream, I'm trying not to go too long tonight. And tomorrow, I don't think there'll be any streams from me. If there are, they'll be late like this. Uh, and it would probably be Isaac, I guess. But Elden Ring comes out in two days. So, Lark and I are planning to stream it on the day it comes out. Uh, we're gonna- I'm gonna have to preemptively ask that y'all- I know there's gonna be people trying to, like, play the game right alongside us, or maybe people who got it early for whatever reason. For the love of God, don't backseat. <laughs> That's like the one- I said I've eased up on backseating lately, but that would be one- Souls games are where I draw the fucking line, man. I think we'll do a lot better in it, honestly, than past Souls games too, just because we got the experience of having played the whole series, both of us, you know? Oh, this is shitty. Oh, God. And look, I barely made it. Checkpoint! Is that my babe saying that? Uh, it's- I'm- I can't look at chat while playing this, by the way. Ooh. And I'm, like, not really getting the full Outrun experience, but wouldn't it be so fun to go to, like, Galloping Ghost? One, awesome name, Galloping Ghost. Two, I, I was just looking at some pictures of it, and it was like every picture had, like, five arcade games that I've streamed r right here. I was like, damn, I'd love to actually play those on real hardware. Uh, I was like, oh, Forgotten Worlds. They have Forgotten Worlds, and it has the actual dials that, that uh... I did not have, and are necessary to play the game. Okay, get up to 150, then switch to high gear. I- that might have sealed my doom. This section goes on for quite a bit longer, if I recall correctly. Uh, chat. Preemptively, so I can see the messages when I die. What, am I doing something wrong here? Like, is there something about the game that I'm missing? Come on, 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 I didn't even see the checkpoint. Got further than before. <sighs> <sighs>
I wonder if they have Peggle. Probably not, if I had to guess. Okay, well, I got further than I ever did before, but... Yeah, I'm not terribly good at that. It's just... You just gotta make, like, no mistakes. It's just... Really stringent. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Anne. Anne! Hi, I'm Anne. That's fucked up. Whoa, I love that little glitched out screen. Start! <laughs> Cool. Well, that was fun. I know there's other games in the series. There's some 3D polygonal ones that are eh, to look at, but uh, at least in my humble opinion. But this was cool. And now we're going to move on to something else. I don't know exactly what we're going to do, actually. Outrun. Look at that. I just wanted to see that again. <laughs> I love it. It's cool. That's like... Patient zero, you know, for Vaporwave. <laughs> I'm gonna put on my wrist brace. I thought about saying cock ring there, and then I decided against it. <laughs> I was like, man, what would be so funny to say here? Cock ring. <laughs> Hold on, oh, this is a disaster. The Velcro's all like stuck. Ugh. And I, and I only got the left one. Where's the right one? You know, I've become a fully... I've become fully integrated into the toe socks lifestyle. Is the, my right wrist brace just nowhere to be found? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, wait. I think I know where it is. I literally... I left it on top of the fucking uh, air vent so that it would, like, dry out a little bit because it was getting kind of sweaty. Because I've been editing a lot. Anyway. Uh, what are we gonna do now? Space Harrier. Let's do Space Harrier. This is by the same guy using the same technology. The three, the theme, the vague stream of the whoa, the vague theme of this stream is whoa. Games that would make you say that in the nineties. I'm gonna take a drink. They are washable. Uh, if they if they get like actually bad, then I do wash them. But yeah, it's not like it's not stanky. It just got wet, <laughs> you know. There are known problems with this machine. Good. Look at this shit. I love that one-eyed mammoth thing. So from what little I've seen of this game, it looks like a fucking Welcome acid to the trip. Zone. Get ready. <laughs> Welcome to the fantasy zone. Look at that. What the fuck, dude? And this uses the same sprite scaling technology. <laughs> Bruh. Anyway. There's a all these... My first knowledge of Space Harrier was from... Moot. What the fuck? Okay. Okay, I'm shooting. I think I only have one attack. Okay. Jesus. Sounds like Sonic music. There's an All These Fingers song. I can even shoot the clouds in the bushes. Are you kidding me? It is the fantasy zone, I guess. There's an All These Fingers song called Space Harrier Arcade Cabinet. And uh, I was always like, what the fuck is that? And now I know. Now I know. Now I'm a gamer. I'm just annihilating trees. Oh, there was like a nuke for like a frame. Also, what'd that say about many more battle scenes? Shit. There's a lot going on. I think I like cunked into a bush at one point too, and my guy kind of went like, whoa. God, when <laughs> some of the like explosion sprites are so intense. I'm, like nuking these fucking trees. Okay, the dragon. Red dragon. Die, monster. Uh, I'm not really hitting it. I think I need to hit the head. But it's quite difficult to do that. Maybe I need to, like, get out of the way there. Fuck. Get ready. Soon be available. Yeah, sure. Okay. It's like, do I need to... Oh! Giza! Like, the pyramid's at? What the fuck? Wow, he, t he died in, like, one shot. Yo's! Are these Moai? Oh my god. Hop. That's amazing. Hop. 
I love like every once in a while a tree will just get absolutely nuked. That's amazing. Oh, this kind of hurts my fucking thumb to play. Ah! Get ready. Oh god. Okay, I, is this gonna be a game I can just sort of like cheese my way through? It's so weird the fact that like your guy is just a flying dude with a gun. Not a ship. His legs are just kind of like dangling there. We saw a scene much like this in the intro to, oh god, in the intro to the like Mega Drive Classics Collection that I played Sonic 3 and Knuckles through. And what is it with Sega and like gridded ground, you know? Oh god, one of these types of bosses. Easy! Amar, oh my god. <laughs> the nuke. So much is happening. I'm on acid. Oh god. I'm in the Fantasy Zone. Actually, Fantasy Zone is a different arcade game. I think also by Sega, right? Because they put that dumb little ship on things sometimes. Uh, this is a fucking... I am whizzing around and I have no idea what's happening, but I am currently alive. That's all I know. Oh, it's just cool. It's very, very aesthetic. I know I'm gonna be saying that word a lot. And a lot of people are gonna be like, <laughs> Define aesthetic! But you know what I fucking mean. God, it's like, how, how am I supposed to react to these? It's gone so fast! What the fuck? Get ready. Oh shit. Twin dragon. This is like a double-headed dragon, yeah. Goddamn. Okay, they go down like little bitches. Say, 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 so. Say, so. Oh. Oh. That's a cool effect. That caught me off guard. The gameplay is mostly the same, just with different sprites. Oh, God. It's like stop shooting every once in a while. Yo. I would not want to play a bullet hell with these controls, I tell you what. And it seems like my shots kind of home onto enemies. Like, quite a bit. Oh god, oh god. Ah! <laughs> <Get ready. sighs> okay, simple sis. Soon more battle scenes. Bonus stage. I can't do anything. What? I can't do anything, I can't shoot. Oh! <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? I'm on a rampage. It's just like, destroy as many things as possible. It kind of has a mind of its own. It's kind of like, it's it's like tugging in other directions. Whack, that's awesome. Oh, that's so fucking cool. I rode one of those like noodle snakes. You're doing the like snake on a string. Olesis. This is like Sonic music. This, it reminds me of a track in Sonic 3 and Knuckles, actually. Which, if this song wasn't stuck in my head, I would now hum for you. Like the, like the first zone, Angel Island, right? I love that big- oh, fuck me, that big island in the background. You know that one? That's actually, that's the like sky palace. That was like at the very end of the game. Within 10 countdown. Ooh. It's kind of hard to judge how close those things are sometimes. Oh, yeah, I can just run on the ground if I hold down. I didn't even really realize that. Ah! Fuck. Get ready. I just put in a coin, and it did, said the battle scenes thing. Fuck me! Oh my god. Well, this seems to be an effective strategy. Okay. <laughs> Lucasia! Oh my god. I nuked that iceberg. Oh, it's these things, yes! I love those things, are you kidding me? I want to murder a thousand of them. Uh, I'm gonna tell my friend Lucas about Lucasia. 
Actually, he watches my streams. Shout out to Lucas. I don't know if he'll watch this one. Ooh, this is like a mini version of that boss from before. Oh yeah. Well, I'm glad I can just like sort of cheese my way through this game with coins. I feel like I'm doing okay too. It's kind of an unconventional shooter. This whole 3D gimmick. And oh, and this one had a joystick. I'm pretty sure, like a like a you know not like the kind of joystick you find on an Xbox 360 controller, but like an arcade, one of those fucking meaty sticks, you know? It's like when you get spawned back in, you get a little moment of invincibility, and you can shoot the enemy, too. Oh my god. The deaths just kind of come out of nowhere. Get, get ready! A lot of these bullet patterns you can solve by just going in a circle opposite to them. Oh, I didn't actually kill some of these bosses, I think. They're, like, escaping. That one, like, got away. Ida. Ooh. God. These are, like, fucked up Moai faces. It makes me think of that one episode of Doctor Who where the weeping angels have, like, been in stasis on this planet for a really long time and the statues have, like, grown over to look like other statues or something like that. It was really weird. They've, like, grown over with stone. Fuck. Get ready. Oh my god. <laughs> Get, ready. Get ready. These deaths just keep fucking coming. And they don't stop coming. It's like, where are we going in this game? Because I can significantly, like, I can just turn around, basically, like... It, this is not actually like a 3D layout for a stage, it's just like spawning things in front of me wherever I go. Doesn't matter if I turn. Oh my god, that projectile came out so fast! Get ready. Look at that! Oh my god, that's fucked up. Get ready. Die, monster. Stage 8. How many stages are there? Does anybody know? Oh, look at this fucking kunk. Look, that's particularly... Beast is demonic in nature. Ah! The boss fights take like a second in this game, though. I've noticed. Because they go away at the end. Like, if you... I swear if you, like, take too long, they, like, run away. Fuck. This is classic arcade hard. Hmm. Yeah, I've definitely felt... The difficulty ramping up somewhat. This guy cannot be beaten with my tried and true strat of just circling around. I mean, I could try it. <laughs> Come on, shoot that last rock, fuck. Get ready. You're doing great. Oh, and he left. Okay, he was like, I'm done with this. Revy. And I saw like a Mayan temple there for a second. You know, I can just hold down the button. Oh god. Get ready! <laughs> so apparently- oh my god! It's like I can't like see these fucking bullets sometimes. Because it's so fucking- the screen is like, whoa! There's no arcade sequels to this game, the only home ports. I tried to shoot that! Get ready. Good god. Shoot it! Can I not shoot those? Those are invincible or something? It made the thong. Yeah, I can't shoot them. Fuck. That's unfortunate. Most of those obstacles I've been able to shoot. The... Oh god. Is this a is this a final boss? This guy feels final bossy. No. It's kind of just another one of those. Okay. Minia. Nuke. Random nuke. Anybody know how many levels there are? Did I, like, miss that in chat? It's been hard to look. I gotta focus so I'm not dying every two seconds. There we go. Get ready. <sighs> uh, quite an unforgiving game. Just like Outrun. Fuck. Get ready. But these... I feel like... 
this is a lot more like video gamey. You know, this. I feel like he must have played Gradius, right? Like this shows pretty clear Gradius influence. I find it hard to believe Yu Suzuki never played that, right? I think it's just, he maybe has played video games and is, like, aware of them, but maybe just doesn't play them in his arms! In his spare time, you know? Oh, God. That was my bad. Get ready. Die. It's just easy to lose track of the projectiles and not see that until the frame it hits you. <laughs> Huh. Wow, the enemies are getting really aggressive. I basically need to just treat every enemy like the bosses. Oh! Bruh. It's like... Just, just circle around and keep shooting. Oh. It also kind of sucks when the en enemy decides to, like, bonk into you. All right, monster. Oh, bone dragon. Classic evolution of a, like, lizard or dragon boss. The skeleton version. Come on. Die, monster. It's just like Cuphead. Or no. It's just like Rayman Origins, uh, sky levels. Oh, hell yeah. More of this. <laughs> it's kind of awkward to control because it always goes up. I feel like there's almost no way to get all of these. But they're in like a nice row for you a lot of the time. <laughs> this is great. Fucking based bonus stage. Oh god. What was I what was I talking about? I keep losing fucking track of things lately, man. Chat, what was I talking about? Drail! These names. They sound like Bobs and Dugnut. Oh, I know what I was talking about. Because I started shooting again. It's one of those things where if you hold down the button, you get, like, a lower rate of fire. So it's like, why would you ever do it? Like, always just mash the button. And thus, why did they make holding down the button even a possibility? That's why a lot of bullet hell shooters, I really appreciate that they let you just fucking hold down the button. That's why I haven't played Don Yoku yet, because it makes you mash. I love that scream. Get ready. Okay, Jesus Christ. I am ready for this to be done. Those look like the things that you collect in Blue Wish Resurrection Plus. A suit! Her suit, guys. Her suit. Her suit. Guys, it's our word. It's the word. Her suit. Her suit. Her suit. Pursuit. This is fucked up, man. I don't know how I lived that long in the first place. The, un the indestructible obstacles, especially when there's ones on the ceiling too, like this. When the ceiling comes down, that's just fucking hard. Look at that sky. Oh, that's beautiful. Gorgeous. Great, another boss like this. Pursuit. Oh, you're kidding me! Get ready. Get ready. This, like, particular boss variant has proved quite difficult for me. For whatever reason. It's because they, like, you can't hit them when they're really far away, it seems like. Come on, die. Die! Uh, fuck. Get ready. Good god, he just shoots so much. Die, please. I wish my shots would track onto the bosses the same way they do the standard enemies. Oh god, he's going absolutely ham. Is this the final boss? Nope, we're at Vissel. It sounds like Bob's and Dugnut, you know? Like fake baseball names. Fuck me. Get ready. I'm ready. I'm aware of the battle scenes. 
There's not, like, actually a ton of enemy variety, too. There's just variety in, like, the objects. The, like, static objects lying on the ground. Like, those elephants, the mammoth-looking things, were basically just rocks. <laughs> like, they didn't actually do anything. It's like running into a cow, you know? Get ready. Fuck. Oh my god. It's like going in a circle is always your... That's what you want to do. Sometimes you just can't... Can't do it. Can't win. Otherwise. Is this just a single-headed bone dragon? Okay. Is this like the Ridley of this game? You know? And like this is the final bout with them? Nope. Natura. Thank you so much. Uh, Mm. This is- it's cool, though. I like this. I like- especially the fact that you can run on the ground if you go down. That's- that's like a cool detail. Eh. I gotta play Shenmue at some point. I own Shenmue 1 and 2 on Steam. Uh... And I heard 3 was really terrible. <laughs> Oh my fucking god. Get ready. The Bone Dragons... Somebody said it reminded them of a Yu-Gi-Oh card. It reminds me of New Super Mario Bros. Wii. <laughs> the, like, Bone Snakes. And, of course, Rayman Origins. Those are more like musical instrument snakes, though. Ooh. This feels important. Is that an enemy? No, it's just dropping. It's a drop ship. <sighs> Good god. So there's how am I supposed to fucking handle this? You're doing great. <laughs> Narc! What the fuck? Y you know, that's an arcade game that I haven't streamed. Fuck. Maybe I'll stream Narc at some point. But like I said, uh there will be I think I started to say this earlier and then got sidetracked. Lark and I will stream Sunset Riders. We'll do basically another Michael Jackson sesh where we play three beat em ups in a row. We're gonna do in in maybe not in this order. Alien vs Predator, the beat em up by Capcom. Uh, we're gonna do Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, which is like a weird. It's like an original property quirky uh, beat em up. Fuck me! And we're gonna do... What is the third one? Sunset Riders. Oh look, Cloister. Oh god! There's a babe in there! Wait, what the fuck is this? Zool? Look at the doggies! This is Ghostbusters! This is Ghostbust! What the fuck? God darn it! <laughs> Abysmal! So much is happening! There's... What? More bosses? Is this a boss rush? Abysmal. Look at these fucking guys. That face up close. Phew, you are one ugly dude, dragon. <laughs> I'm the protagonist of Space Harrier. That's probably how I sound. Fuck. I wanted to run along the floor all cool. Good god. Uh, there's a lot of, like, repeated content in this game, though. <laughs> Barbarian. Okay. What is that? We're, this is like the names of these bosses, I think. And this is a boss rush. Pretty cool. I'm down. Uh, I'm gonna die a lot, though, because this boss always fucks me. In his various forms. Uh, that is so fucked. Get ready. Can't believe that one guy's name was Abysmal. Imagine your fucking parents take one look at you after popping out of your mom's cooter. And they say, yeah, this guy's name is fucking Abysmal. God damn it. Get ready. This guy is so... ...messed up, man. Okay, now all his things are dead. 
Just go in a circle till he's back over here, and then I I think similar to Squilla. Uh oh, this was the first guy. There's different dragons. It's not Ridley. Uh hold the fucking phone. I need to focus. I can only hit him while he's coming at me, so go over to the side. There you go. Strat. Absolute strat. That annihilates him. You kidding me? Yeah, Ida. Yeah, Ida named you Abysmal too if I was your dad. Squ Salpidon. <laughs> These names are amazing. This is great. Honestly. <laughs> Salpidon. I'm probably having a similar effect to OutRun, where these controls would probably be a little less awkward if I was using the actual joystick. Fuck me! Dinosaurs and Cadillacs was also a TV show. Uh, yeah, that's probably a thing, actually. I think you're right on that. So it's not like an IP originated on Beat 'em Up. Fuck. Okay, I'm gonna go over to the side. It's just these guys keep shooting while they're coming at you, too. So that strat's a lot less effective. But it seems to work. Shoot him. Kill him. There you go. Sura. Okay, this is a different guy. But similar boss. Actually, I would... I would dare say nearly identical. <laughs> okay, but at least we're whooping him. Oh my god, he's dead. Valda. A different... And this is the bone version of the first dragon. So the, the one-headed dragon and the two-headed dragon are different ones. I thought it was all the same guy, but he was, like, mutating, you know? Alright, use my strat, go all the way over to the side. Then blast his fucking head off. Oh, come on. No. Yeah, snuck one in. Oh! <laughs> yeah! Oh, yeah, Yuria! Oh, this is awesome. Oh, that was delightful. Are you fucking kidding me? That was great. The end. Wow. Wow. That was good. Kinda bad, but good. Cobbin Tudnag. <laughs> Alright, did it automatically input A? No. Let me select... Okay. These are always so awkward, I don't get how they make these have bad controls. I really don't. Gee, select it, do it. There we go. I, like, seriously, it's so hard. No. It's like I'm trying to go over there as fast as I possibly can. It's because I don't have the thing. I think it actually, I made it. I think it said GFT. Let's check the scoreboard. I'm actually super curious. <laughs> I was trying to do GFT. NFT? <gasps> mm. I love that you get on the worm and ride into the sunset at the end. Show the scores. Show the scores. I don't think it's gonna show the scores. I might have to press start. Welcome to the oh, fuck you. Okay, who cares? Actually, did it say high score GFT? I think it did. Anywho. So like I said, there's also Hang On, which is a motorcycle. It's, it's outrun, but with motorcycle instead of car. And I don't think it has like the California aesthetic. It might, I don't know. But, uh, not, really that interested in it and it also I, I couldn't get it to emulate when I tried just lazily so I was like yeah whatever I'm not gonna play that uh we're gonna save Congo Bongo for last uh in in order to preserve the hype of such a truly epic game we're gonna play Afterburner 2 I don't know if we'll spend as long on this one this is the third and final Yu Suzuki creation we'll be playing today. It is a airplane game. An airplane game. I don't know about Afterburner 1. I don't know why I ended up picking, a, picking 2, but... I did. And that's the world we live in now. Afterburner. Lock on. Okay. So, instantly, I'm getting flashbacks to the mothership. And also, uh... Top Gun on the NES, which I attempted to play with the, uh with the mothership 
I would probably not advise this game if you if, you, if you're like photosensitive. I guess is that just like from association? Like it was reminding me that looks like the Top Gun logo. Actually, fuck. It was reminding me of that one shot in Red Earth right before it like gives everyone a seizure by flashing a bunch of lights with like the bushes appearing on the horizon. Oh, look at this. Looks like a real ass plane. Vulcan gun. Balls. Real ass JPEG of a plane with Sega on it. Oh, sound. Oh yeah, such a tragedy that the mothership got destroyed so I can't use it. Well, I couldn't use it with this. I would need an NES to PC adapter. That's fucked. Balls. I think maybe Top Gun on the NES was trying to be this game, potentially. Uh, now, hold on. I learned something recently. Oh, did I close the tab that had this? Fuck. Hold on, I need to go into my fucking, like, browser history. Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, oh, here it is. Taiken. Taiken is the Japanese word for... Oh, you can do a barrel roll. For games like this, where you, where you sit down in a thing, and it, like, moves the thing around you, and it has, like... I guess what we would call haptic feedback now. Uh, so this is what the OutRun cabinet looked like, for instance, and it's like a thing that like kind of moves around as you control the thing. And I, I, I learned that I was like, oh, that's fun. There's a, there's a specific Japanese name for that, Taiken. And all three of these that I've played today uh, are those. I don't know if was Space Harrier like that, actually. I think maybe. Who's to say? I've never played it. Anyway, I've never played it on an actual arcade machine, anyway. Let's play Afterburner. Let's fucking go. This music's already hype as hell. Let's fucking go. I remember thinking Top Gun on the NES was actually a rather graphically impressive NES game. Okay, I'm kind of just spinning around like a madman. I did not kill those guys. Oh! Oh, I got hit. Fuck. I need to barrel roll to dodge it. Wow, I'm fucking dead. I am fucking dead. Okay. So, as the reticles appear on these guys, just keep shooting rockets at them. Nice. Okay, shit. Oh my god! It's so hard to avoid those. What the fuck? Do I just need to, like, pull a hard right? Like, am I overcomplicating it? We're over, like, residential homes now. Okay, there you go. I was perhaps overcomplicating it. Ooh yeah. Woohoo! This is fun. Woohoo! Wee hee! I am having the good time. <laughs> I don't know why I said that like an alien. And I have died. Look at that! Just homes! Destroyed! Utterly ruined! Okay, this one it looks like I'll be able to cheese with coins. I don't know how long I'll actually play this, though. Oh, fuck. Reload weapons. Oh, shit! It's to Top Gun was totally trying to be this! The mid-air refuel segment? Oh, look at the lights down below. That's actually real purdy. Oh, god. Except in Top Gun, they had you fucking manually, like, you had to latch on and refuel. And that shit is just dumb. Like, can I shoot their missiles? I bet I can. Oh, god. So this is not dissimilar to Space Harrier. Uh, good god, it's so hectic. It, I love the way the, like, city nights... The city lights at night, rather. Nights at light. Look. Fuck. Stage four. Are we playing through this whole thing? Uh, well, fuck it. Let's just go for now. Whee! <laughs> the horizon was doing some funky shit there. Okay, I think I just shot a rocket out of the air there. Yeah! Fuck him up with the rockets. Let's fucking go. Oh, this is kind of awesome. I can imagine, like, this would blow the mind of... Look at how- it's an Orlando! Are you kidding me? I've crash-landed in Dark Souls world. The fuck? I like how that plane just like hung in the air for a bit. The horizon 
goes nuts when I aileron. Fuck. <laughs> bam, bam. I don't know what he's saying there, actually. Sometimes I just get hit. Oh my god, that looked so hokey. Everything was, like, angled for a second. <laughs> what is happening? Oh. Oh, I crashed right before the landing strip, and all these people are like, Wow, that's so embarrassing. Oh, look, it's the hang-on guy. Oh, that's such a great detail, the little guy on the motorbike. Are you fucking kidding me? Why did I like that so much? Fuck, that was so cute. Okay, now this is even more like how Top Gun on the NES was. Because on Top Gun on the NES, they couldn't fucking render shit besides, like, ocean and clouds. They don't land that fast? What are you talking about? It's just like parking a car, man. You just pull right up and... Shoot, hit the brakes. Hit the plane brakes. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh god. We're definitely getting some weird, like, overscan shit, too. Like, I think the edges of the screen are perhaps supposed to be obscured. Oh god, there's someone behind me. He's on your tail. Try- use the brake. Use the brake. Uh, okay, I don't know how much more of this I'm gonna play. Let's- I'm- I'm still having a decent amount of fun, it's just- I'm dying very often. Ooh. But I don't know. Oh god. I just got missiled from behind. Oh. Select by control- what? Okay. Why did it have an actual, like, menu there? Is it because I'm, like, a certain amount through the game? That's kind of weird. Why was it like that? I love seeing, like, the spray of the bullets when I do a roll to get around them. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Uh, what is that, like, reticle up in the sky? I don't know why it- it was like- was I out of lives only then? I find that hard to believe. Oh, look at this shit. <laughs> Are there any enemies? Like, Star Wars, like, Millennium Falcon chase sequence arena. I guess it's more like Phantom Menace, eh? Pod racing. Look at all those tents. Holy shit. Reload. I feel like I could be using... I could be spamming the missiles way more. And I'm just not. Like, that's why I'm not killing these guys. Oh, fuck. What, are you kidding me? What? What the fuck? Get off my tail! Do a roll! Fuck! That sucked. Uh... Oh shit, I hit no. Okay, well that's fine. We're done here. My favorite thing in that entire game was the dude on his motorcycle who rides alongside you on the air, on like the, the strip. That was the best part. Okay, well that's Afterburner 2. Uh, not, I don't feel quite, it, it, something about it being like a realistic, like, military shooter type thing makes me less incentivized to like go through all the levels anyway, so I'm fine with that. And we're going to move on to Congo Bongo, which is not actually going to be the last game. But whatever. Let me just roll my chair over here. I'm sitting down. Vulcan Gun. Congo Bongo. If I went further, I would have seen the Outrun car. That's cute. That's cute. I believe it. it sounds like the sort of shit they would do. Uh, okay. Driver, Zaxxon CPP. So there's another game called Zaxxon that I considered playing, but I played a little bit of it and I was like, this is just not interesting or fun at all. It was like an isometric, this game's got like an isometric style, and Zaxxon was the same way. Uh, it's like an isometric plane shooter or space shooter, and it was just really unexceptional and like kind of like hard and weird. Like, and not exciting weird, it was just like kind of bad controls, in my humble opinion.
uh, maybe I just sucked. But uh, this is on the same machinery, same arcade board. And also by Sega. I guess we're doing a Sega day. Fuck, I didn't really plan on doing that. But actually, this is all Sega. Fuck. Literally all the games today are Sega. That's the hint for what the secret game is. Look, it's the Spelunky guy! But I'm not gonna actually play Zaxxon. Uh, it seemed kind of, like, bad. And also- Oh, he can pick up the monkey? Oh, it's humping his face. Uh... And I, the sound didn't work on MAME as well. Wow, that guy was a fucking idiot. He just jumped right off the cliff. Huh? He's gonna spell Congo Bongo? Oh, my eyes. That would look cool with 3D glasses. So, you may notice... some resemblances to other famous arcade titles. In that there's a giant monkey throwing things that bounce down at you, and you're a schlubby guy. Uh, so do I have a jump? I do. I think that's all I can do, besides just walk and climb. Get these nuts out of my face. I love the little monkeys. What's gonna happen when I touch this? <laughs> I'll murder him! Oh shit! The ground is like, giving way? So this got like a Qbert isometric style. Are these like- these are like the tall tall mountain monkeys. Ah. Look how evil the fucking monkey looks, are you kidding me? The, the, like, giant one. So it's a little awkward. I don't know exactly how the arcade hardware was for this one. I kind of pussied out there. Uh. Hip, up, hip. What is with this monkey that I just slide into and kill? Oh, fuck. I hit the wrong button. I have to hit X to jump here. Not A, which is what I just tried. Did I just wall jump? Truly is tall, tall mountain. This just looks cute, though. And Zaxxon was like the exact same, like, kind of isometric style. It was just a space shooter. So, will I whoop the monkey's ass when I get up there? Oh god, I don't know what to do. Did he kill me? Oh, he just walks away awkwardly. Yeah! I'm not a Mario! Mario? I never heard of him! <laughs> I'm not even Italian! Oh! Is that the sound that snakes make? Oh, we're not gonna get far in this, are we? You know what this reminds me of? That one Neopets game that I played. Uh, f the name is really escaping me. Hold on. Put in B, because this one, the rare, actually, like, fucking controllable results screen. Rub. Hold on, let me play another round of this first. Bop, bop. He fucking lit his tent on fire, like, what a cock. Also, I love how there's just a human skeleton there. Just chillin'. Oh, close one. Close one, donkey. You're gonna have to find a dumber guy than that. Oh, uh, there's another green monkey up here. Oh, that's the same green monkey. Oh, god, no. Oh, Jesus. Oh! Ah, oh, what?! <laughs> Are you kidding me?! They teamed up on me. <laughs> Holy fuck. I was... Of all the things I was expecting, it was not that. So don't let all three monkeys touch you, Jesus. Ooh, I thought I could jump over it. Fuck. We're not gonna get far in this. He really looks like the Spelunky guy. Like, slightly more upper-class Spelunky guy. Like, he's got the big nose. Okay, look at the monkey, it just did the fucking epic face, are you kidding me? It does the epic smiley face! What the fuck? You know the one I'm talking about with like the D mouth and it's like, eh, like looking up, you know? One that your movie sucks uses all the time. This fucking screen, man. Okay, so watch out for the fucking woo woo woo. 
There's a hippo I gotta walk on the back of. Yeah! Gamer. He just walked right over that cliffside. Wow, what a chad. Oh. Was there like a pteranodon there? Oh, look at me. Oh! I'm in the hole. Oh! Oh, I don't know how much more of this game we're gonna play. <laughs> Hold on. What is the fucking... I'm gonna bring up my games list. I have... All the games sorted for situations just such as this. It was a, there was a Neopets game that was like this. And it was called... Uh... Nobody even cares. I don't know why I'm looking this up. Fuck, was it Fetch? It might have been Fetch. Is that what it was? Did I do another Neopet stream? I did. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know nobody- literally nobody gives a shit. Uh, it was like something escape, something chase. Oh, fuck. Oh, this is the worst. It, dead air and just me looking at a list. Whatever, there was- uh, there was totally a game. Hold on, I'm gonna look up Neopets Fetch. No, that was the awful- that one was terrible, right? That was the one that was like... Yeah, a shitty maze that you click on, and you, like, go to different places. Okay, I'm sorry, this was- wait, is it Jubble Bubble, perhaps? Hold on. Last guess. No, that was the, like, underwater one. Grand Theft Imagine! Hold on, that's totally it. That's weird, Google search results, when I typed in Grand Theft, it had, like, a bunch of other shit besides Imagine in it. Okay, wow. This is the dumbest... This is the dumbest, like, deep cut ever. But I found it. There is indeed a Neopets game that looks like this. Look at that. It looks like the second stage, kind of. And you find the little purple fruit. Okay. Sorry. That was- <laughs> I'm so sorry. <sighs> There's my tangent. We're gonna do this a couple more times. I like that he's snoring so hard that his hat is, like, fluttering off of his face. Classic. <laughs> you know? Monkey? Oh. These monkeys are a menace. It literally does, like, the te epic face. Epic win. God damn it. Grand Theft Imagine. God, I'm so glad I looked that up. That was so worth it. Everybody fucking pogged in the chat when they saw Grand Theft Imagine. Fuck you. Get off my face. This game is a nightmare. <laughs> it's not that bad. It is kind of like, sometimes it just feels like you're at the mercy of his, like, patterns. If you don't know him perfectly. I think it's preset. I think it does the same pattern every time. Okay, so... Take the path... ...of least resistance! That's a lot of resistance! Oh! Oh, I took a dip! God damn it! You can't move... You can only move in four directions. And it's like you have to adhere... To the isometric grid. Alright. Oh, Hippo took a little dip. That would have been bad. But see how this stage kind of looks like Grand Theft Imagine? Look. Okay. And it, look, there's a bird there. With like a cool blue coat. Okay, so am I supposed to hide in the holes here? Is that what we're doing? Or does that kill me? I don't- I think it just like set me there. Okay, I think we're done with Congo Bongo. <laughs> I just thought it looked kind of cute. And, uh, originally the concept for this stream was gonna be, like, 3D games, and I, that was gonna be the one I was gonna start it off with. But, uh, and I was gonna do Zaxxon too, but fuck that. Uh, hold on. Gotta put my classic mark on it.
B. Okay. Well, that was cute, I guess. And now, we're gonna move on to the secret game. Of secrets. And I'm gonna turn up the volume a little bit. Not so much that you guys go deaf. I actually had to rig up a... I downloaded a different version of MAME that can run this specifically. This is a unreleased Sonic game called Sega Sonic Bros that I have talked about in the past. And... Well, you'll just see. It's using the same IP as... Uh, you remember Sega Sonic the Hedgehog with Mighty and Ray. And there was also Sega Sonic Cosmo Fighter and Sega Sonic Popcorn Machine or whatever. And also, uh, I never streamed Cosmo Fighter, but that was similar to Waku Waku Patrol Car. Anyway, and that was also a Taiken. That was a machine that you ride in, and I think it has physical feedback. It might not. Anywho. I guess it's running off of the sound. is running on modified Mega Drive hardware. I don't know exactly how that works. I think they had like an arcade version of Mega Drive hardware. So this was never officially released. It did poorly with test audiences, and they were like, we're not going to make this. <laughs> And so, it's also not Mighty and Ray, it's just like a yellow and red Sonic in this, which I don't know if that's because it's like, you know, early in development or what. But like, even in the title art. So, it's a falling tile game where you drop little Sonics, and when you fast fall them, they go, ah! as they fall. <laughs> that's the main draw of this for me was just that simple joke. That simple- it's not even a joke, it's just funny. It's just simply funny. The little Sonics drop and they turn into blocks. It's so weird. I don't know why there's two AAA scores there too. I, I don't think I played this before and submitted scores. But uh, yeah, and I, I can't speak Japanese. I kinda- I get the rough idea though. Hold on. Let me submit a coin. Oh, I, I actually can't play this with controller because it's on a different thing. No, I don't want to be an m, &M. Ah! I actually have to play this with keyboard controls because it's on a different emulator and I only bound like half the controls. So that gem destroys everything above it, I think. Okay, here we are. It's just different colored Sonics and the one in the middle is like angry. Super Sonic. I was thinking about playing this with Lark at some point, but we're going to play stinky R Robotnik's bean machine instead. So here we are, we fight against Robotnik. I actually, I, I tell a lie, I played one round of this and it gets like impossibly fast so soon. I don't know if I just suck or what. But it's like you want to make... From what I can tell you want to make rows. Or you want to like... It's kind of hard to describe. Level 2 already, okay. It's like I want to make a line of blue ones across the, the front here. I'm going to murder Sonic! So there you go. And that deletes all the blocks underneath it and zaps Eggman's stinky ass. Teehee, he's a smelly butt. Teehee, I hate Eggman. So, like there. And I think in the in the instructions, it almost looked like certain colors can have like certain configurations, but I don't think that's the case. But look, it's already getting faster. And I'm already panicking, hardcore. I, I feel like I, sh I should be trying to rack up more like score, I guess. It's like make a bigger thing and then contain it. Fuck. Oh, that screwed me up. I'm just going completely aimlessly now. Oh god, it's- see, it's so fast! We're gonna destroy one red block. Uh, I- it's like, I can't- I can't cope with this, I can't deal- I can't deal with this. Please, it's so fast! It's like I- it makes me wonder. Is this why it didn't, like, test well? Is because it's fucking impossible? Or do I just suck at these as usual? Because it's well documented that I suck at these. But I think, you know, in the end, a lot of that is just because the, there's a, a very developed community for people who play these kinds of games. Look at that. Huge. You know? 
people who've played these for a long ass time, like, I think I have, like, kind of the average person's skill level. Look at that. Ooh, Sonic! That was a sketchy drawing of Sonic. It, just like Sonic himself, it goes fast. So let's try to, like, build a big stack here. And make, like, a blue row. Okay, that was kind of sloppy, but whatever. I think this will work out. Nice. Whatever. <laughs> Get zapped, Eggman! <laughs> Zap your cock! I've locked your erection in the blockchain! Okay, I'm gonna try to get a yellow thing going here, I guess. Oh, the blue? No. I didn't want that. Ah! Oh! That's, it, that's so fast! It, how am I supposed to... No, I wanted the red one! Okay, whatever. That works, too. Huh. Yeah. Bruh. That... I was hoping that would work. Do something. Oh, he just instantly fell! Are you kidding me? Please, did that not do anything? Oh, it's not sealed. I need to seal his erection in the blockchain. Hold on. Go over there. Yeah! Yeah! Oh my god, this is the best game ever made. When, when does it... When does it let up, man? That's so fucked! Come on. Make a yellow thing across. Oh no. Oh, that's bad. Come on. Yellow thing across. No! It's <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, look at him. He's juggling the emeralds. Like when you fuck up in Sonic games, which I never do, by the way. Oh my god. I'm gonna say what's on my mind here. Woo! Level 19! Exclamation mark. I thought it said today's bests for a second. Best five. Oh, get to level 40, it has the blue spheres music. I can't guarantee that'll happen, but I'll keep playing this for a bit. It's getting close to midnight, but I, I can... let's keep going. I can keep going! It's one of the things you can set as your, like, fucking... Uh... Your, like, phrase that you say when you encounter someone online in Smash Ultimate. I can keep going! God, that was easy mode! Ooh, and you get plus zero points for that. Oh, Jesus. So if I start at level 20, Jesus Christ. Okay. So, hold on, let's make, like, yellows there. Let's make, like, a huge yellow stack. This is kind of fun. I, I don't really exactly see why it's like a, a recalled game, you know? But it's not like the most fucking fun I've ever had, too. Ooh, look at that combo. I feel like I lack the fucking brain to make combos in this game. Okay, let's just make a tiny little... Move over. Move, move over, cunt. Fuck. Okay, that works, too. Something weird happened there. Okay, now it's gonna start going absolutely ape shit. Very cool. It's like there's- I'm working up like a meter to get to that crystal, and that's, uh... I guess some kind of magic sonic crystal? I don't know. It's like a, a crystal of power or something. I guess they made it up for this game. Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! Yep. Yep. Nice. Like a power gem, you know? Uh, this We've reached the point where I do not have... I do not have agency over what's happening. Cock, get over there. No! No! It's so fucking fast! I just simply can't do anything. Oh my god, do something, please. Accidental crazy combo, go. Accidental crazy combo, go. Crazy, cr cr accidental crazy combo powers, go. I'm not even gonna get to use that fucking gem, because it's... I'm not gonna get to delete very many rows. Gah. Still bad. Make a blue row. Make a blue row. 
blue rope. Oh, that's gonna kill me. Fuck. Oy vey. <laughs> All right. A little bit of a throwback to Fallout New Vegas here. Cook. I love that there's an exclamation mark after your score. That's so cute to me. Tet. Oh, 1992. So Sonic was quite a fresh property at that point, right? When was the first Sonic game? Chat, one of you nerds must know. I forget. It was like not that far be before that, right? 91, yeah. Okay. I love how he's thinking about money. Sonic's like, you need to pay me! Or else I'm not gonna seal no erections anywhere. Oh fuck, I'm playing. Fuck. There's lava in the background. Oh, this is gonna be a nightmare, isn't it? It's fun though, like I the, the gimmick is not fucking unbearable, goddammit. It's just that it's so it it the difficulty ramps up so quickly. Good. That's not what I was trying to do. I was trying to set up a blue thing. Fuck. That okay, hard is fucked. Hard mode is fucked. <laughs> you kidding me? Oh. It, like, shows you if you're gonna make a combo before you actually input it. Just for a brief moment. Is that- was it doing that on the other modes? Hold on. Get a red one over there. Need these. Yeah! Okay, that's the, the tiniest of victories. Yellows. Working on- Okay, well, we're not gonna have- Okay! Let's just pray. Okay, leave something, like, low down. Oh, God. Nope, I couldn't even move it. What? I couldn't even move that block at all. Jesus, hard mode whooped my fucking ass. <sighs> Good God. Now... Sorry, it's like different controls than I'm used to with MAME. Uh, so yeah, you'll probably never see Versus. Versus! Actually, let me... You'll probably never see me play this against somebody, but what does Versus play look like? Oh. The little cloud thing. That's like... Captain Syrup's logo in Wario Land. Just wanted to see if there was any, like, unique assets for this. I love how they yell when they... when you fast fall them. Oh, that's so funny. Have I been fast falling them, like, at all? I think I have. Okay, whatever. Let's not do this. Let's do single player. Oh, God. All right. Yeah, I'm not- I'm not breaking the law. It's fine. Everything's nice and legal. Okay. It says press start, but you actually have to press, like, the first button, which could actually have said start on the machine. It's just that when you rig it up in MAME, it, like, considers that the first button. Okay, I'm gonna go easy mode, because, uh, fuck that. It's just, all it does is just put you at a certain level. Okay, thank god I swapped to easy mode quick enough there. So it's like, put the blue there. Just make, like, a stack of blues, I guess. A blue stack, if you will. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Uh, wow, I'm- I'm an asshole. I'm cool. I'm a cool guy. A blue stack. <laughs> Anybody ever thought of that one? Oh no. Don't ruin it. Oh, nice! It actually- it was a sick combo! Okay, let's just put that there. Let's start a red thing going here. God, already getting faster. Let's try to, like, set up multiple things at a time. Okay, that didn't work. Let's just delete that, I guess. Uh, yeah, I... <clears throat> Someone said I love the, like, yelling when they fall. Yeah, it is amazing, isn't it? Sega sure is amazing. The shenanigans they get up to. Nice. Didn't mean to do that, but it kind of happened. 
down there. Nice. But, uh, I think the, s the the ROM of this, like, leaked online at a certain point. That's, like, why we have it at all. Oh, God. There's another two reds. Yeah! Nice. Ooh. It's so fucking fast! Go over there! I couldn't even, like, move them over in time, barely. Oh, thank God. Brief respite. Oh, and a crypt chaos emerald. I mean, crystal gem. Oh. You know what? Sure. Let's get a really boring thing going. Wow, perfect. <laughs> Simple. Effective. We value efficiency above all else. That was, that was dumb of me. Let's make it yellow. Oh, no. No, not that. No. Yeah, I'm definitely not big brain enough to make, like, intentional combos in this. Actually, that was intentional right there. Tell a lie. Because that was intentional. I meant to do that. Wow, I'm really sucking at this. Wow. Cool. Now I just need a bunch of yellows. Go over there. Okay, now I need a fuck ton of yellows. Come on. It's hard to even move them. When, like, there's something going on. Yeah! Ugh. Huge. Right, get him in there. Huh! No. Okay. Oh, no, no! No! Ugh. Oh, I had something good going there, but I fumbled it so bad. Now it's in the fucking heart of the cards. I can't. There you go. Mm. No. Uh huh. Go blue, blue thing, blue thing. Go all the way over. No, no. <laughs> oh god. I made it to level twenty. I made it to hard mode. Oh god. And see, I couldn't even put that down very far to like actually clear a bunch of gems. Okay. Ho ho ho. Oh. This is hard, man. It's fun, though. It's like, I was expecting it to kind of be bad. But it's honestly, it's fine. Egg. Ooh. F, F, F. Cock. Wow, that one... No, F, 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 F is the best one, that cock. And that was the one attempt at, like, hard mode, right? Ooh. I'm gonna be down for checking out the TGM series. Is that- does that stand for something? I feel like... The, the Game Museum. <clears throat> Tetris the Grand Master. Uh... Eh, I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, we'll definitely... <clears throat> I'll play more Tetris in the future. But, uh... I don't know if I'll do that exact one. Uh, there, there's a ton of Tetris games out there. A fuck ton. You know, uh, Brink Entertainment, or Blink, or whatever it was that made, uh, Zapper One Wicked Cricket? They actually made a fuck ton of Tetris games. Or no, am I wrong on that? What is the one that made, uh... No, that's not the same company. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The... Arika, I forgot to mention this when we played uh, Street Fighter EX3. Arika, the same company that made Street Fighter EX3 and the whole Street Fighter EX series, also later went on to make a fuck ton of Tetris games and Tetris 99, Mario Bros. 35, and Pac Man 99. Which is kind of a fun, interesting fact. They're still around today doing apparently quite successful. Business ventures, which is neat. Good on them. Good for them. Anywho. It's pretty neat. Uh, let's try Norm. I don't know if I'll do hard again. <laughs> I do find it funny that it's like... You know, they had Mighty and Ray, 
But here it's just a red... It's just red and yellow Sonics. Like, it's definitely not Mighty and Ray. You know? Uh, wow, I'm an asshole. Okay, that works. That works. That doesn't work. No, that works! Oh, monkey. Accidental combo. It's possible that they were just, like, you know, beta textures or whatever, beta graphics. Okay, we're gonna get a blue thing here. Are there other, uh, falling tile games that have this kind of concept to them? I feel like I've not seen... This, this exact thing before, but maybe there is one. Okay, all we need is one red there. Boom. That was actually two different ones. Didn't really plan for that. Okay, I think I'm getting a bit better at it. Look at that. Feels good to improve. That's something you don't get with some... With modern games that hold your hand. I.E. Have game design. Oh, oh god. Uh, every it, sometimes it feels like the controls for like moving them around are a little sticky. That's my one complaint. Is every once in a while they just like won't move where I want them to. No, oh, no, the blues. No, I didn't. Oh, I didn't want the blues to go there. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Give me the gem. Give me the gem and let me put it all the way down. Please. Please, I want the gem. Emeralds! Fuck. I'm just... Uh, I'm randomly inserting things. Oh, come on. No. No! I wanted to just go all the way over! I tried so hard. I was mashing left. It's over. I was mashing left so hard. There's the stickiness. I couldn't, like, get it to move over in time. I left a big chasm for it, but I couldn't get it down there. That's frustrating. Okay, whatever. Uh... I know the alphabet. Feels bad, man. Yeah, there's just a little bit of like, sometimes I'm like, move over, like, and they just won't. Might be something to do with, uh, you know, emulating it. Or it might just be with something to do with the fact that it's uh, an unreleased game that was not meant to be seen by the public. I don't, I don't know the circumstances that led to this getting leaked, by the way. I think it was like somebody, typically with arcade games, the way that works is like somebody finds a actual board of it somewhere, so they must have found, somebody must have come across the board that was used at, like, a, a you know, a location test for this game. And, uh... This, these sound effects, get these out of my ears. And they must have, they, they do what's called dumping the ROM, which is they just, like, I don't know how exactly they do it with, with technology, ostensibly. They, uh... They just get all the information off of it that way and dump it online. Okay. Uh, we're going boring again. Is this like the exact same configuration of Sonics that it gave me before? Like, I wonder if it's, it's a seeded run. Same seed. Just put that there, I guess. I'm trying to get a red thing going here, but... That dream might die. Oh, wait. Nice. That's gonna make two different ones? No. Okay. So let's try to cover this in blue. Huh. Nice. Gaming. Oh! Okay, let's just slap that down there. Now that I've, like, got my bearings a little bit, I'm able to, like, look at the, uh, which ones are coming next, you know? And, and use that to my benefit somewhat. Ultra combo. Okay, we're just gonna leave that there. Uh, oh, no, no. Oh, I can still save it. Oh, uh, yes. Nice. I don't know what I'm doing. There's also, like, a certain instinct to, like, try to match them in more of, like, a traditional falling block game style, you know? Oh, God. Uh. Huh. Something. 
Please. More. Yes. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh, God. Put that down there. Oh. Come on. I'm so close. Give me the gem. Oh. At least I got to use it slightly there. Oh, no, and I instantly, like, fucked it up. Big time. Mm. Come on. Then yellows. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> Huge. Huge. Craigasm, dude. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's just so fast! <laughs> Come on. Yellows. Yeah. Yeah. No. No, I fucked it up. No, the yellows got fucked up. No. I'm gonna put him over there. Say, huh? Yeah! Oh, get junked, Edmund. Edmund. I'm so used to saying Edmund. Calling his name out. During bedtime. No, not intercourse. Bedtime! When I have my nightcap on, you filthy people. Uh, that was pathetic. Pathetic attempt. <gasps> Ooh! Put more down there. Yep, yep, more gold. More gold. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, that gem is not gonna get here fast enough, is it? Come on. Just keep making combos, little, little tiny ones. Oh, come on. No! No! Oh, please! No! It said it was ready to gem! Why didn't it gem? I don't know why it didn't gem. Okay, whatever. Boo-hoo. Oh, wait. Here's a classic. I'll give you a classic. BBQ. Nice. Okay. I think, are we done here? I think we're done here. I'll never get as good of a score as that one time I selected hard mode once and instantly died. <laughs> but that was fun. That was that's a that's a neat game. Actually, I I was expecting it to be bad, but it was actually kind of fun. I'm not gonna lie. I was I was expecting it to be shitter, but it was basically enjoyable. About as enjoyable as a lot of these other ones. Although it did, it's pretty fucking relentless. And that little stickiness of the controls, that was a little bad, but whatever. Neat, though. Super neat. It's like Sega- Sega wanted in on the- on the fucking cash cow that was the Puyo Puyo Boom, you know, in like Tetris games and shit like that. But, uh, unfortunately, folks, that is the end for tonight. Uh, I guess here- uh, let's, let's chat for a little bit about this. Because... I have unpin that version of MAME from my taskbar. I'm glad I'm gonna get to- oh, I'm gonna get to delete all those files, or at least just put them in another folder, because I had to do so much chicanery to get that game to run. Uh... As I have said, probably the next stream of this will be me and Lark playing Sunset Riders, Dinosaurs and Cadillacs, and Aliens vs. Predator. And then beyond that, uh, what you just watched was me draining the last of my, uh, resource of, of arcade games to play. So, if you guys, I guess if people in the comments of the VOD want to suggest more arcade games, I cannot guarantee I'll play a single one of them, but if there's, like, some really cool or interesting ones that I missed out on that, uh, could conceivably be played, I might check those out. And then there's also... I have this folder full of broken games that I want to play that for whatever reason I couldn't get to work on my emulator. So we have Area 51, which is the come on, stay low thing, which I saw Matt McMuscles actually did a video like retrospective on it, which is hilarious. It's the first time I've ever heard this game referenced outside of Andrew saying come on, stay low. Uh, there's also... Arkanoid? I could never get Arkanoid to run in any of its forms. I tried different, like, versions of it. Uh, Battlezone, which is, like, this really old tank simulator game, like, back from, like, the Pong era, you know? 
I could get it to run, but the uh, the controls are like fucked for whatever reason. Then there's Funky Fighters, I think is what it's called, which is like a whack-a-mole game that, unlike Kensei Magura, I don't know, it doesn't have its own little like custom HUD. I don't know how to get it running on emulator, but it looks kind of interesting. Then there's Marble Madness, which you control with a ball, a track ball, which we saw the difficulties of that in Sega Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, and I think I maybe couldn't even get the game to run anyway. Raiden, I couldn't get to run. That's a space shooter. And then Rhythm Tengoku has an arcade version that uh, <clears throat> I, I could just never get it to run. I would actually be quite interested in checking that out. It probably would be just its own stream and not even an arcade game's stream, you know? But it actually has different content. It's like, it doesn't have unique minigames, but it has alternate versions of the minigames, which is quite cool. And I think it even has multiplayer. And then I also have this ROM here called Sonic C. And I truly don't know what it is. It doesn't even show up in MAME when I put it into the like ROMs folder. And I, for the life of me, I can't figure out what it is. I thought it was maybe Sonic the Fighters, because in America it was sometimes called like Sonic Champions or like Championship or some shit like that. I can't figure out what game it is. It's not Cosmo Fighter. It's not any of the Sega Sonic games, because I checked what the ROMs of those are called. I truly can't figure it out. So, if anybody knows what Sonic C is, I, I can't figure it out. I have it saved here. Ostensibly, I had plans to play it at some point, but I don't remember. It says it was saved on 5-7-2021. <laughs> but anyway, then we've also got Cyberbots. I might not play. I don't think we're going to play Cyberbots. I just have that downloaded for some reason. Uh, Fatal Fury... Lark and I are going to check out Real Bout Fail Fury at some point, I think, the first one with Ringouts. Uh, then there's Metal Slug 2 Turbo. I tried to get that running, which is like a ROM hack. But I already played Metal Slug 2. It's just we might play Metal Slug, uh, me and Lark, together. Then Primal Rage 2. That has even more difficulties than Primal Rage 1, and it's not like a necessary play. But that was an, another unreleased game, right? Or was it released? I think it was. <clears throat> and then we got Waku Waku 7, which I don't think we would play on here. We're probably going to play that on Switch, because it's for some reason on Switch, uh, I think. And did I mention Double Dragon? These are ones I'm kind of iffy on playing. I don't know if we'll play any of those, even a single one of those. We'll definitely play Real Bout Fail Fury. That's the one I guarantee. Sonic Crackers, Sonic Crumpus. Oh, whoop. oh guys, I said the word. Whoop. Oh, no, now they're going to bust me. Oh, oh shit. Oh, fuck. Anyway, it, yeah, it's like the letter C, not S-E-A with Sonic C. So if anybody knows the mystery of Sonic C. Uh, but yeah, so that little list that I just read to you there are some that I, I, I wanted to play, but I could never quite get working. Maybe at some point in the future, I'll fiddle with enough of those and like get them working or people could. I, I'm fine with people messaging me, me on like Twitter and stuff if you know a way specifically to get like, you know, something like Rhythm Tengoku Arcade working, for instance. Um, but otherwise, it's very possible that this will be the last solo arcade game stream. Which I, uh... I don't know if I want to say anything, any fucking, like, special words or anything. But, uh, I really enjoy, as I think I've said this a lot throughout... I really enjoy going through these and, and looking at all these arcade games. And like I said, I might do an IRL arcade stream at some point. I think that might be fun. Uh, but fascinating. Really, really cool shit. All the, all the different stuff we got to see. Space Harrier was probably my favorite from today. That was really fucking cool. And as frustrating as the games can be sometimes, it's just really interesting to see all the wild experimentation they did with these old games, you know? It's kind of like watching, it's kind of like looking at Flash games, kind of same vibe, except Flash games are a lot more amateurish, you know? And the arcade games are a lot more impressive, because it's like, oh man, look at like all the crazy shit they managed to do with such old hardware, you know? And all the weird twists and turns the gaming industry took in that time. Really neat to look at. Uh, so I hope you guys got as much enjoyment out of it as I did, uh, because I sure as hell enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, next time we are in these these hallowed halls, I guess we'll 
do some Sunset Riders action and all that, and then uh, that 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 could very well be it. Depending on if, and again, if if people have any recommendations, uh, feel free to let me know. But it is it is past midnight. I need to be quiet, so I'm gonna bid you guys farewell. Uh, no streams tomorrow. I am busy, but Elden Ring on Friday. I might stream tomorrow, but it would be late. It would be very late if that happened. We'll see. Hope you guys take it easy. Have a nice night.